Hi, hello and welcome to our YouTube channel Excel Bus Software Testing where you will learn in easy simple way. So our today's topic is State Transition Testing Technique. What is this technique? How to apply this technique while writing the test cases? Let's see everything. So let's get started. What is mean by state transition testing? State transition testing is a software testing technique that focuses on the testing the behavior of the system as it transitions between different states. It is particularly useful for testing systems that have defined set of states and undergo specific transitions based on the inputs or events. The goal of state transition testing is to ensure that the system behaves correctly and consistently as it moves through the different states. Some basic things you need to understand before we move forward. First of all, what is state? A state represents a specific condition or a situation in the system under the test. It represents a stable phase or mode that the system can be in the given time. For example, in a banking application, state could be include logging in, logging out, or account lock, etc. Transition Transition represents a change of a state in the system. It occurs when a specific event or input triggers a movement from one state to another. For example, the transition from logged out to logged in could occur when user successfully enters the valid your login credentials event it represents a specific occurrence or action that can trigger a state transition for example it includes button clicks or data inputs or time based triggers or external signals etc condition conditions are logical criteria or requirement that mu that must be made for the state transition to occur for example, a condition for a transition from logged in to log account log would be a certain number or fail login attempts. State transition diagram. State transition diagram, also known as finite state machine diagram, is a virtual representation of a system state, transitions, events, and conditions. It provides a graphical illustration of how the system moves from one state to another based on the events and condition it helps to visualize the behavior and the flow of the system transition matrix transition matrix is a tabular representation of a state transition and associated triggering events or inputs it provides a concise overview of the possible transitions between states and helps in designing the test cases and ensuring the coverage these things you should consider while creating state transition diagram identify the state Start by identifying the different states that the system can be in. These states represent a specific condition or modes of the system. For example, for login system, states could be include locked out, log, logging, logging in. Make sure to consider all the relevant states based on the behavior and the requirement of the system. Define the transitions. Determine the possible transitions between the identified state. A transition occurs when an event or inputs trigger a change from one state to another. Identify the events or input inputs that lead to each transition. For example, transition from logged out to logged in might be tri triggering by the event of entering valid login credentials. Specify the events and conditions. Associate each transition with the corresponding event or input that triggers it. Additionally, define any conditions or constraints that must be made for the transition to occur. Conditions could include factors like the presence of valid credentials or specific time-based requirements. Visualize the diagram. Use the graphical representations to create the state transition diagram. The diagram typically consists of circles and rectangles representing the states and the arrows indicating the transitions between them. Label the arrows with the triggering events and conditions. You can use the specified software tools, drawing applications or even pen and paper to create these diagrams. Validate the diagram. Review the diagram to ensure it accurately represents the system behavior. Check for the completeness, correctness and clarity. Ensure that all the possible states, trans transitions and associated events or inputs are included. Verify that the transitions align with the defined condition. It can be helpful to collaborate with the stakeholders, developers or domain experts to validate the diagram. Refine and iterate. 
if needed refine and iterate on the diagram based on the feedbacks or additional insights make necessary adjustment to reflect any changes or update to the system's behavior or requirements consider the age cases error handling and exceptional scenarios to enhance the completeness of the diagram so this is how the state transition diagram look like in this diagram whatever yellow circles and red and green circles are there those are states and whatever lines are drawn those are transitions this is login feature from one banking or one payment application if user is providing login credentials at first time if those are correct then it is going to the home page and if those credentials are wrong then it uh, test case will be the case will be fail and that user will be redirected to second attempt in second attempt if user enters correct login credential then it is redirected to the home page and if user fails for for the correct login credentials then it will redirect to the third attempt similarly if the third attempt is correct login credentials enter then it will redirect to home page otherwise your account will be locked for some hours so it in this scenario you can draw the state transition diagram and by using this state transition diagram you can derive one transition matrix and then by using that transition matrix you can derive the test cases that will be more easier for the for writing the test cases so we draw this state transition in such type of cases let's see what is the transition matrix creating the transition matrix involves mapping the events or inputs to the corresponding tra state transitions in a tabular format here is the step by step process to make a transition matrix first of all identify the events or the inputs start by the listing down all the events or inputs that can trigger state transition in the system this could be user action system events or any other triggers that cause the change in the system state for example events could be include enter the credentials or submit identify the states list down all the states that are relevant to your system these states represent the different conditions or the modes that the system can be in for example state could be include logged out login or logging in etc create the transition matrix table Create a table with the rows representing the events or inputs and columns representing the states. The intersection cells will be the representation of the resulting state after the applying the events or inputs to the current state. Populate the matrix. Go through each event and state combination and determine the resulting state. Fill in the corresponding cells in the matrix with the resulting state or indicate an invalid or non-existent transition with a dash. Validate the matrix. Review the transition matrix to ensure that all possible state transitions and associated events or inputs are covered. Check for the completeness and correctness. Make sure that each event or input leads to a valid state transition or indicate an invalid transaction if applicable see this is your trans state transition diagram this is atm machine state transition diagram where the blue circles are your states and blue lines are your transitions so one state will be start then wait for pin then it will transit where user enters pin then it will go to first try if that first try is passed then pin is okay then you will get the money or you will get the account access then if it is fail then you will attempt for second try like this you will have three tries for account to account access then if third try is also passed then you can go to access your account or other than if it is fail then you if pin is not okay then next your state will be your atm will be blocked for some time so this is state transition diagram and for this state transition diagram we have drawn one table for it so this is event 1 event 2 like a card is in inserted or enter pin pin is okay pin is not okay these are the events and then these are the start wait for pin first try up to eat card will be your 
states so if start is there and insert card we are inserting then it will go to s2 s2 means it will wait for pin and then then if it is wait for pin then event 2 will 2 will occur that is user will enter the pin if user is entering pin and then s3 event will occur what is s3 event is first try then first try means if you t- user has entered correct credentials then event Three. If pin is okay, if user has entered correct credentials, then it will go to access of the account. That is, we have created S six for that. So the that S six event will occur. Like this one transition table. or transition matrix you can say that will be drawn by the testers by using this transition diagram you can write the test cases accordingly and then you can execute those test cases what test cases will be then you can write test your test case will be if user has entered if user has inserted the card and it is waiting for pin after that it is entering pin and then if it is pin okay then it will your user will get the access of account so like this test cases you can write but you have to consider few points while designing the test cases let's go through one by one quick first one review the state transition diagram and transition matrix refer the state transition diagram and transition matrix that you created earlier understand the possible state transitions and events and condition identify valid and invalid state transitions analyze the stran- transition matrix to identify valid state transitions and any invalid or non existent transition focus on transitions that involves different events or inputs triggering a change in the system states consider the boundary conditions identify any boundary conditions or edge cases that may impact the system's behavior during the stress state transition this could include minimum or maximum values special characters exceptional scenarios etc generate test scenario based on the identified valid and invalid state transitions and boundary conditions generate test scenarios each test scenario should represent a specific combination of events states and conditions design test cases for each test scenario design specific test cases that cover the recover the required events and validate the resulting state transition test cases should include inputs expected outputs or any preconditions or setup required cover all the possible transition ensure that your test cases cover all the possible state transitions including both valid and invalid transitions aim for maximum coverage to verify the system's behavior in different scenarios prioritize and organize the test cases prioritize your test cases based on their importance complexity or risk organize them into a logical order to facilitate the efficient test execution consider negative test cases In addition to positive test cases include negative test cases that intentionally trigger invalid state transitions or incorrect behavior this helps to validate the errors handling and system robustness review and refine review your design test cases to ensure they are co- comprehensive clear and concise refine them as needed considering feedback from stakeholders peers and domain experts test execution execute the design test cases following your testing strategy and approaches record the actual results and any observations or issues encountered during the testing process result analysis analyze the result by comparing the actual results with the expected results defined in the test cases identify failures or defects that need to be addressed iteration and regression testing based on the analysis of test result iterate on the test cases update them if as necessary and repeat the testing process additionally include the state transition testing as a part of your regression testing strategy to ensure that new changes do not impact the existing existing state transitions Let's see now real time examples of this state transition diagram or testing where you can utilize it. First of all login system 
Consider a login system with the states like logged out, logging in, logged in. The state transition testing can focus on events such as entering valid credentials, entering invalid credentials, session timeout, and logout. Test cases would cover all the valid and invalid state transition error handling and edge cases like concurrent logins or multiple fa- login failure attempts. E-commerce shopping cart. In e-commerce applications, the shopping cart could have states like empty, adding item, update item, and checkout. State transition testing can cover events like adding items to the cart, removing the items, updating the quantities, and the proceeding for checkout. Test cases would validate the proper transition between the states handling the edge cases like out-of-stock items, unexpected changes to the cart, and handling of invalid operations. Order Processing System For an order processing system, system could include receive, processing, ship, deliver, etc. State transition testing can focus on events like order placement, order cancellation, order fulfillment, and order delivery. Test cases would ensure the correct progressing progression of test states, proper handling of cancellation or changes, and validation of any system's behavior under different order processing scenarios. Ticketing system. In ticketing system, states might could include open, assigned, in progress, and closed. State transition testing can cover the events like ticket creation, assignment to a user or a team, status update, or ticket closure. Test cases would validate the transitions between states, proper assignments and ownership handling, and proper closure of tickets with the necessary updates and notifications. Workflow Approval System In Workflow Approval System, states could include draft, pending approval, approved, and rejected. State transition testing can focus on events like submitting a drafts for approval, approving or rejecting the request, and handling the changes or resubmission of the approval, and appropriate notifications or actions triggered by the test transitions. And you can find many more such examples of state transition diagram. Finally, the conclusion what we have derived is like state transition testing is a valuable technique for validating the behavior of the system as it transitions between different states. By focusing on the events, conditions, and transitions between state, these testing approaches help to identify defects, errors, and unexpected behaviors related to the state changes. Through the creation of state transition diagram, transition matrix, and the test cases, st- testers can ensure the comprehensive coverage and verifications of the system's behavior in different scenarios. With this conclusion, we are ending this video here. If you have any queries or any doubts, please write down to us. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please share this video to your family and friends and testing aspirants. We post videos on every Tuesday and Friday. So until then, happy testing. Bye-bye.